I couldn't hear the dark presence. It was gone. The tunnel was open now. I could get through. I had a new beat for the story. I had seen it before. I remembered now. It was always out there, hunting me. Our place wouldn't let me go that way. I had found the murder site. Somehow the victim's heart was the key. Cauldron Lake. Mount Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please, help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside Parliament Tower, where I had lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me.
on this winding road. What are you looking at? Is it your face on a pane of glass? Cause somehow this window becomes a trap on this winding road. Will it ever let me go? Forever I am fading to black. Forever I am circling back. Just to fall into this trap. This Who was writing who? Who was writing this poem? Me? No. to forget, marking you, taking you for a ride, making you crazier. Station had changed. I was closer now. Was just an echo of the real thing. Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. trying to escape long enough for hours to think I'm dead. The payphone at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. Hey, Alan. Thank God he picked up. I thought I lost you again. Who are you? 
Why are you helping me? Did you go deeper? To the Oval app? Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I... That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower? To make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello? Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? Alice's photo equipment, set to go off when the door opens. Get out! Leave me alone! Alice! Alice! This is the door to my study, where I wrote my books. This symbol wasn't here before. photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? Alice's video camera. No memory card inside. One. What was Alice working on? He brought me work when he could. 
I took his promo shots. Um, created covers for his books. I'm sure he forced his publisher into it. I was taking photos, just not my photos. And that gnawed at me. Things got complicated sometimes, but that's life, right? We loved each other. Then, uh, Ellen hit a block. I brought out a meaner side of him. One I didn't like. I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington. I didn't tell him until we got there. We argued. Things went wrong. And he was just gone. Drowned, allegedly. Easy for people to think it was my fault. Hell, I do too, sometimes. About six years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. Then it got violent. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit The Dark Place. Alice. Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? in the writer's room and wrote a story, initiation, to project myself through the dark place to look for a way out. The story had brought me here, brought me nowhere, looped me back. I was writing this story, and in the story I now stepped into the writer's room. But there was no one here writing.
I can see you there, but you don't see me anywhere. I'm right in front of you, I'm right here on this moment in the world. What are you looking at? Is it your face on a pane of glass? Cause somehow this window becomes a trap on this winding road. Will it ever let me go? Forever I am fading to black. Forever I am circling back. Just to fall into this trap This Okay, let's recap what you've taught us so far, Helen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding but your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when, it, when night falls. But last time- it... This will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is it's full of holes and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It's like, it's like, it's like a half forgotten dream. Mr. Wake, Alan, we've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. It's insane. 
And there's so much of it. Wake just gave us a lot of information. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. Doesn't make sense. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? Have you ever heard of the Cult of the Tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The Cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the Cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, 
If I'm gonna act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Think Saga. Okay, Mr. Wake, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew a weapon. Standing inside the trailer at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. Her mind reeled from what the horror story was now claiming about her. Her life, her past, she didn't accept it. She stepped out of the trailer. She needed air, but she wasn't alone. A cultist stared at her from behind a deer mask. She drew a weapon, shouted, ran after him. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. It's all on the page. The clicker, the cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel.
escape. A dark presence had stopped me. I had seen the title page of another manuscript. Return. I didn't remember writing it, but it felt familiar. Important. I had to find it. I would write a new draft of initiation to reach Parliament Tower using another murder site. Scratch was reaching out from the dark place to get Alice. She was out, but still in danger. Forgotten. I knew how this worked now. I could take control, no more surprises. What demons he wrestles with in the dark hours of the night. Together with our house man, the divine old god of Asgard, we have created something very special. The song is called Herald of Darkness. But I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. Just do what we always do. We'll chat, but instead of talking, we'll sing it! It was locked from the other side. <laughs> 